Hey everybody, Light here, and in today's video, we're going to check out iOS 11.2 Beta 3 on the iPhone 5S. But before we get into developer Beta 3, let's first run some benchmark tests on the iPhone 5S. So here we have Geekbench, and now we got the score of 1379 on single core and 2469 on multi core. And if we check it out on the comparison chart over here at single core and if we look for the iPhone 5S, you can see it's slightly lower than on the comparison chart. And also that goes the same in the multi-core section. If we look for the iPhone 5S, it's slightly lower for some reason. And also here in the benchmark, we get a score of 56,129. So let's go ahead and update this thing to developer beta 3 and let's see what happens. So here we are at developer beta 3, so let's go ahead and open control center and if it's your first time to disable the toggle over here, it should turn gray and it should show up a pop-up message and okay, why does it not do that? Let me see this thing. Okay, so here we have settings, so okay, I tried everything and nothing really happened, so I guess we're just going to restart this iPhone and hope for the best. So now that we got the iPhone restarted, let's go ahead and open control center and disable a toggle. So let's try again. And okay, uh, seriously, why don't you... Ah, uh, okay, this is really a bug on developer beta 3 and let's just go ahead and do the benchmark test. So here we have it. Let's open Geekbench and run a processor test. Okay, and so here on the single core, we have here 1,221 for the single core and 2,119 on multi-core, which is lower than the previous beta, as you can see. So just to be sure, we're going to run another test on Geekbench and now, okay, the results are now a lot worse, so let's go ahead and try another one on the to benchmark. And okay, now we get the score of 43,126, which is slightly lower than the previous beta. I guess this is really a buggy beta. Also, while I was uploading my video for the iPhone SE, I seem to notice one more change right here. If you remember from my previous video in beta 1, when you double press the lock button, it would not lock your iPhone. But now on 11.2 beta 3, if you do that, that would now lock your iPhone. So this must be the most buggiest bait I have ever experienced on iOS 11 on the iPhone 5S. Also, if you're using this version, please use the Feedback Assistant application to report anything that you find on the iPhone 5S. And as always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe if you want to know the future updates for the iPhone 5S.